What is up, Jammers community and a fitter you? We are back at it again with another video for you guys. And over the next couple months, we're going to be focusing on getting you guys ready for the CrossFit Open of 2015. What we're going to be talking about is the muscle up. We mentioned rowing, if you've been into the gym the last couple weeks, um, but we're really going to focus on the meat and potatoes of all gymnastic movements, which is the muscle up. Coming from a position of full extension, hanging from the rings, inverting into a support position on top of the rings. So basically, you're moving from here with the rings going to hips. A very complex, strength oriented movement that we're going to break down for you guys and really focus on pull up, ring dip mechanics, all the different variations, the drive, the push up that go into performing a complex movement like a muscle up. So, if you were here last week, we had our first edition of our Technical Tuesdays where we focused on the active pull, so the basic ring row of the muscle up, and as well as the dip or the pushing out of the muscle up, that little drive you need to be able to push out. We all struggle with push ups from time to time, I know I did a long time ago, and the hardest part is literally the pushing up phase, getting out of that bottom phase. So a great way to practice that is with a couple tricks that we're going to review today. So last week, first thing we went over was the pull. With the muscle up, you need to have the ability to pull. Big, strong pull through the back and through the shoulders, right? So a nice basic grip right here, locked out. Make sure the feet are in view. Lifting the hips up and just pulling those thumbs to chest. Back down. Coming up, back down. That's the first piece we worked on. If you can do about 10 of those, no problem, and you're ready for the next part, all right? Which is, hands are coming closer together. So we forearms with a nice neutral grip, forearms are parallel. Now we're coming a little bit closer, because we're going to be getting ready for that false grip and that transition. The closer the rings are to the body, the tighter you are as a unit, the easier it is to move in space, all right? So we're holding here, keeping those knuckles together, and we're just doing a big pull up, pull up, all right? That is part two, getting used to having those arms a little bit closer. That will be a little bit more challenging, all right? The final piece we looked at, we're getting the legs kind of involved a little bit. So with the muscle up, a big part of it is the kick, the drive up, using the hips to generate that momentum, that power. So with our grip, we lay on the ground. The pressure is in my heels, so I'm going to be driving through my heels. We're going to watch very quickly, because so what's going to happen is my hips are going to shoot up first, and then they're going to help my arms pull me up. So driving through the heels, up, and down. Watch carefully, watch the hips go first. Up, and down. The hips are throwing you up, and this should feel a lot easier than the first and second row. Up, and down. One slow motion view for you. Up, pull, down. So those are some of the parts we went over for our pulling phase of the movement last week. If you were here, you remember them well. All right, struggled a little bit, but you guys looked pretty darn impressive. The next part we talked about was the drive through the rings. We focused on a basic push up, being able to push from the floor, hands nice and tight, elbows going back, all right? We also talked about the ring plank. The principle of stability is huge when involving rings and gymnastic movements. When you're doing a press out in your rings, finishing that muscle up, going into that ring dip press, you have to externally rotate those shoulders. I see far too many people, they grab the rings and the knuckles come in like this. The shoulder internally rotates. That's a very weak position. If you go to any gymnastic gym, you probably get laughed at if you start doing muscle ups like that. So what we're focusing on is coming out and pressing those rings out, showing the pits of the elbows. This is a lot harder than it sounds, trust me. So a great way to practice is to get a set of rings nice and low like I have right here. Get a line so that the bands are right in line with the arms. Straight lines, that's what it's all about today. The arms are going to turn out, so my elbows are showing the pits of the elbows, and my elbows are pointing back. So not here. So I don't want to be here, this is internally rotated, very weak position for the shoulder. External rotation, very, very strong position. You're turning on your latissimus dorsi muscle, and all those little stabilizers that help keep that shoulder in place. 
one foot at a time, you'll step back. So I got one foot stepping back, then my other foot. And you hold your plank. If this is too much, you'll start to feel those arms turning in. Step down to the knees. Nothing wrong with that. But practice corkscrewing those arms out and holding that position. Nice neutral head and relax. That is a great way to practice and kind of really see where you're at in terms of that external rotation, being able to screw those arms out. All right, just like we do with our squat, screwing our feet to the ground. Same idea with the shoulder joint, hip and shoulder joint. You hear me talk about those two a lot. Very similar joints. So that was last week. This week, we're going to be focusing on kind of the next phase to that part, which is introducing the false grip. Normally, normally we're talking about grabbing the rings like this. And once you get into the muscle up, it gets very tricky to do your muscle ups like this. The reason being is you have all this space that's taking up more time to transition. It makes it a lot harder, it makes it more of a vulnerable joint. When you introduce a false grip, which is just you karate chopping that ring, so allowing the ulna bone to rest right on that ring. Not really comfortable at first, I know this guys, but you will get used to it, trust me. It's just like anything else in CrossFit. So holding here and getting those rings there. So I've been meeting with both hands like this, and I'd be in a crooked position. So now I no longer have that space that my wrist would hold, right? I've cut it in half, and I have less distance to travel when I tuck back and get ready to press out, all right? So the false grip will be introduced this week. So stay tuned for that, and you may find that this may be a little bit stronger of a pull for you. It's going to take some getting used to, but I know you guys will get it. That is all for today with the muscle up. Practice those two transitions. You can hold your ring plank for about 30 seconds, you're in the game. If you can get about 10 solid pulls on each of those variations, you're in the game. And then you want to be false grip components. Until next time, peace!